What that one? Yeah, and that that looks a lovely platform if you can get down to it there. Um, yeah, but we'll try this one. Seems to be a path. Not straight down there anyway, I reckon that's looking the fabric bit anyway. If we can get a line down and where to go right. Well it's nice and dry, it's not so bad. You got your studs on? Yeah. Good man. Don't want to speak too early but it looks a very uh, sensible way down. Happy enough to give this a whiz, Kev? Yeah. Definitely. Don't know how shallow it is in there. If there's any kelp down there, that'll be Rass City. Right. Nets up. Should be alright on the short setting. I uh, don't think I'm going for a uh, life jacket today at this point. Not feeling that necessary. Although, you know what, I've got it. I'm going to put it on. It's here. Put it on. It's not a problem, is it? Right. I think I'm going to climb down. Well. Any, anywhere I reckon if you want a deep I, I don't know I don't know whether to go I'm going to try a couple of casts on the sea cat but I'm not letting it go too low until I've sussed it out just because the seeker's on right guys looks a nice little spot this just walking along, spotted a path. 30 gram white seeker. The one that caught the bass last night. So just chuck that on. Oi, that's quite wet. It's gonna have a bit of a fan cast around near the top. I don't want to let it drop too much till I've learnt a little bit about the structure. So I'll probably have about five casts then start. Put a cheap metal on, do some exploring. See what we've got. What are you fishing Kev? How you metal? Yeah. I'm working the top of the water with the seeker to start with. But I think we're going to have to get down to find any fish. It's very bright. Unless there's some mackies about. Apparently they don't get much mackie action around here. Right guys, we're on with a little two pound metal slightly different one I think I lost the other one the other day so let's see what that goes like right this rock here seems to be creating some sort of turbulence out front there so I reckon all too far oh no that's about right that rock may go out a bit further 
underneath the water it looks like there's some disturbance on the top so we'll try and work our way around that area see if we can find anything to be honest I think I'm on the wrong side of it really but I'm not going to cast over the top not at this stage Kelpie. So we've got a kelp. Ah, oh, yeah, it's kelp. Kelp line. We're out. But the kelp line seems to be running out here to whatever that structure is on the end. So that's not a bad shout. Fishing that. Perfectly natural that is up there. Aeroplanes do that. Yes, my arse. And this is why you use two pound metals. To suss out the ground. That feels like rock rather than... There we go, got it. Got it in the end. Happy about that. Wind's got up in it. Wind's come from nowhere. No, it's not sand. Thought that was sand down there. Thought I got a sandy patch. Obviously not. I'm quite chilly now, they've flocked the sun and the wind's picked up. Oh, that was heat. Come on, come back. Fish on. Fishy wishy on! Don't know, don't think so, it feels quite small. Oh! It's a tuna! Tunas are out, Kev! Oh, he's off. Fucking hell. Nice Mackie there, guys. Alright, look away if you don't like it. There we go. He's gone. Well, I was just saying, wasn't I, that uh, there weren't uh, many Mackies about. Or oh, apparently they weren't. Now I've no idea where I cast. I think it was that way. I don't think I was that far out, to be honest. Fish on. Oh, fish off. Fish on. Okay, Mackie's right at the front. Just took a little metal on, mate. Oh, they do go well, don't they, Mackie's? 
for the size. Can you pass me the net please Kev? Just makes it easier because otherwise the top. Where's he gone? Come here boy. More pan stuff. Oh no he's a little he, oh I've got me. He's a little bit small really. Let's see if we can put him back without touching him. Put him in this pool. Let's see if we can shake him off. Oh he's off. He is off. So I'm just gonna put this one back. He's probably a keeper size, but he's not. I wouldn't take that. I'm not bothered about that. Go on, mate. Out you go. He's gone. Oh, it's a bit of messing about there. Let's see if they're still out there. Not too deep, about two seconds, three seconds drop. That one, I think. Not yet. Try going either that way or that way, Kev. About three seconds drop, then gentle pumping. They were fairly near the top, both of them, but not right on the top. Mid water, if you like. By the way, I think we may have missed them now. So go that direction or that direction. So I don't know which way they're going. I'm going up for my lunch. I put the second one back. He was small. And he got himself unhooked, so I never had to touch him. I've kept one, the first one was a big one, yeah, nice one. Oh, fish off. Leave it there, yeah. Looked like a Mackie, he looked jaggy, didn't he? You feel them? They're hitting it. You've only got an assist on there, haven't you? Go and swap it, Kev. Just grab one out of my box if it's closer. We got a Chris on that rod. Oh, friggin' hell, Kevin. Come on. And if you feel them hitting it, just leave it. One of them will hook itself. But with just an assist, like that. How come we've got it set up like that? Come on, Kev, we've got a Chris and that rod today. Even a mackerel will do. Watch it, there's a lot of structure out the front here. See what this bit sticking up, right in front of us. It goes out. I've just fished round it, you can see. About 30 foot out the front, that's obvious. So be aware of that for where you're casting. Well, I think there was a shoal about. There'll be another one. Another one will come through. We'll get some lunch. Well, I got my lunch. <laughs> that other day when you caught that Mackey, I really wanted a Mackey and I couldn't catch one for loving the money, could I? You up, mate? Another lure? Oh, yeah. Well, if your line's stronger than theirs, you might get another lure. Instead of losing one, you might gain one. Don't break your rod. 
just gotta watch your braid. Oh fucking hell, that went with the smack, didn't it? That's Where's that broke? Hey? Broke the pin. That's a good knock, Kevin. You've done a bloody good knock there if you broke your clip. What? So you broke the lure, the split ring? Yeah. Really? Well, guys, look at that. Kev's learnt to tie a knot very, very well indeed. Nice one, Kev. Just get christening that. Chris on that bloody rod, will ya? Connor's gonna be watching this, he's gonna go. Don't know why I bothered selling him that rod. He won't catch nothing. Come on, we need a Mackie for Kev now. We want him to catch his own, but we can't rely on him at the moment. I'm gonna say he can't catch a cold, but he's had a cold. <laughs> what a place to sand on a nice day like this. What a beautiful place. Stunning. My wife says to me sometimes, you're obsessed, you just want to fish all the time. I don't think she understands. Guys, what do you think? Put something in the comments. It's not all about the fishing. Yeah, we want to catch a fish. But being out close to the water, it's just, it's just fabulous. The scenery, nice day like today. You've got the green and the blue. Everything's there, isn't it? On a grey day, you might have the crashing waves. Oh, love it. Love it. Don't get much of it in the West Midlands, I can assure you. We're going about five second drop and a straight retrieve. Low tip. What weight's that, Dexter? It's what? You know what? what? Yeah, they have. Just on a straight retrieve. Oh, you doing it? Yeah. Very underrated, the Dexter Wedge, I think. I had a really good fish on a Dexter Wedge. 45 gram Dexter at uh, Aberystwyth on a calm day. And i um, pretty sure it was a bass. Proper bent the, dub, the rod double, but got off. Don't use them that much. Got a couple. Anything shiny for a Mackie? Oh, someone's touched that then. That was a touch. In close. Come on. That's two touches I've had in close, but no hooks. Definite fish though, could be. It's like they're just tapping at it like something really tiny. That's not, that's the floor. Or weed. Kelpie Welpie. Eh? I'm sure there are. There'll definitely be some mackerel right there somewhere. If they're within casting range, we do not know. Come on, it's the fish you wishy. Come on. Let's have another mackerel. Okay. Decent size for Kev. Come on. 
then I think we'll change tactics and stop fishing for mackerel. Oh, fish on. Oh, fish off. Definite mackerel. Definite mackerel. I was about two meters to the left of where you cast, so you should be amongst them, Kev. Come on, Chris and that rod. Come on, we want a mackerel lunch. Don't want to eat on my own. Girls won't be bothered. But we need one for Kev. So we're not fishing tonight. We're going for some beers and a meal. So looking forward to that. What a beautiful spot. This is living the dream. A bit of fishing. Nice bit of warmth on your skin. A few beers and a meal today. What a great day it's going to turn out to be. What a great day. Go on, in the edge. Far look a conger in the tail. That'd be fun. I must admit, it is absolutely effortless. This is for a cracking distance on a small profile 22. It's just effortless. I mean, really, it's quite light, isn't it? Because this is 42, I think, yeah. 1242. That's the one you want your binoculars on, Kev. Show me um, a plane that's got engine spacing like that. That'll be none then. Ridiculous. Come on. Come on, Mr. Bass. I don't think there's any bass about at the moment. But if there's mackerel, there may be. Be shot. Shot. Sure. Yeah. That's not a mackerel. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. Nah, it must be weed or something. It must be a piece of weed. It's got absolutely nothing about it, unless it's just a pollock. It's really big. the laziest pollock Dead. ever. Pollock, fish has got weed on it. Nah, it did feel like a hit to start with, but a pollock would be doing something now, yeah. even a little one. Rock, oh, and it is taking some line. Unless it's. Or is it. Yeah, get the neck here, I think it might be a ras actually. Oh no, it's a pollock. You had to go at the end. It was. Oh, you go, you're coming back down this way. Thank you. I mean, you could always have a pollock instead of a mackerel. It's a pollock. It's a pollock. What a load of pollocks. I'm really in it. Why have I got myself up like this, guys? Is it just me, or does everybody get wrapped up in everything? 
It's not a bad one either, is it? You're just like a bunch of weed, you pollockies. Do you want to eat this pollock? Eat it? Yeah, because it's bleeding quite heavily. Do you want to try it, Yeah, we'll, do the, we'll take the pollock. Yeah, we'll have a pollock in the back end. It's about 40 anyway. Uh, just had a pollock there. Um, nice one, nearly 40. Just under 40 and... Uh, because we were struggling on one mackerel, we decided to take the pollock and uh, never taken one. I don't even know what the limit is, but I know it's smaller than bass, so and it's I would say it was about 39, so I'm hoping he was in size. But he was gonna die anyway, he was uh, bleeding hev heavily. I'll have to have a look at the size of the pollock as if I'm gonna take them now and then. And we'll see how this one cooks up if we like it. Maybe we'll have a few more but he was a proper wet blanket he was proper wet blanket Come, good hit but then not even really a run and then when he was on a couple of meters out hello seagull he had a good pull and took a little bit of line just a quick zzz. he realized what the game was yeah could do with a wrasse and a wrasse and a bass would make a nice little four species session can't even say species Ooh. weed doesn't count right i'm gonna have one more cast on this now we've got lunch i'm gonna see what else i can find i'm gonna put soft plastics on so i can either don't think there's going to be many bass around, if any, in these conditions, but you never know. Um, so I'm going to flick some soft plastics around and maybe, if not, might pick out a bigger pollock. You never know when you're going to hook up into a monster. Double figure bass on a two pound lure with a one pence hook. Would be fun, wouldn't it? Just not for very long. <laughs> oh! Yeah, oh, it's you. It's you in it. Yeah, it's you. Okay, so, mind, don't rub the lines. Hang on. Oh. Thanks, Kev. Don't. What? What, my liver? No, I'm, I'm stuck on the bottom. Is what, my liver? Hey? Well, I'm going to be too busy tying a new leader, Kevin. Oh no, I've got it. Right, where's the fish? Uh, How far? Fifty. Right. Come on, show me where the fish are, Kevin. Right, you cast there, and I'll cast somewhere near. Is that far enough? Yeah. Oh. I don't know whether we're out crossed now or not. You're a lot further in than me, so I'll take my time. Oh, what we got there? Ah, good idea. You got sorry? Oh, that's vital. How's it feel? Does it feel like a seeker?
on the hunt. Well, I think that's a play on seeker, isn't it? One's hunting, one's seeking. It's definitely a copy of a seeker, isn't it? Looks like it. Come on, Kev. You could do with a rass or a bass. Fish on. Pollock. Yeah, get the net. I'm gonna get a try and get into this. Release the kelp. Yeah, bugger. Yeah, Pollock. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Oh, he's off. He looked bigger, he did. Ah, oh, dropped it. Poor old Kev, run down with the net. And it plopped off. Look bigger, he did. Looked about 42, 43 maybe. First fish for a while. So maybe they're starting to wake up. I think it might be at the... Uh, turn of the tide now don't think we're having that much longer we're going back for lunch we need to get Kev on a fish though see so, so the end of the headland there from where you are that'll probably be about the right line try not to get me though yeah that'll do yeah maybe I don't really know I just yeah you got to get it up over there but you'll have caught one before you get there fish on Bass? Feels lovely on the bass. <laughs> bass in the bag. Bass in the bag. Let's have a side view. There he is. That's a beauty. Do you want to measure him? I'm going for 41. Nah. Nah, he's only small. But uh, let's get him back. Kev's christened his new rod. In his quarter. Nice little bass. Just chucked him in, Kev. Come on, and there he goes. Well on, Kev. Well, middle of the day, bright sunlight, sunlight, not rough. Still found, found, still found a bass. 
Well, at the end of the day, if they're there... They've got to be somewhere, haven't they? They've got to be somewhere. I don't think there's shitloads about, but... I knew I was gonna catch. I knew I was gonna catch last night. It's weird, isn't it? When them conditions, I saw them. That's just they're my conditions, aren't they? Fish on. Feels like a schoolie. Oh, it's gone to sleep. No, it must be, it's, it must be a pollock. Come on, Mr. Fishy. Can't see him. Yeah, it's Pollock. <laughs> oh, he's come off as well. They won't stay on, will they? You be careful. <laughs> Can push him off. You what, sorry? Do you want to go? Hey? Yeah, we've got to wait, haven't we? Yeah, but then we got to cook up and well, we've got to... Yeah, got them. Um, I don't mind. Don't mind. I'll just get this fish in. Fish on. I can't tell you what this is, Kev. But it don't feel like a pollock. Yeah, it's going well, that's, that's a bass that he's got to be. It's got to be a bass. Yep. Checking line, might be a pollock. Dive at the last bit there, can't even see it. Got to be a pollock then. Yeah, it's a decent pollock that is. That's a decent one. That, that could be a PB. There we go. There it is. I reckon that's a PB. Was it? 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 Yes! Let's have a picture. Come here, you bugger. There we go, guys. PB for me, that. Went well. Sweetie pie! Okie dokie. Get him back. Boom! He's gone. Look at his little face. Look at his little face. Fabulous. <laughs> uh, happy with that, guys. PB Pollock for me. I don't do much Pollock fishing, as we know. So, happy with that. 49. I think we're just about to go and get some lunch, but uh, looks like we're having another 10 minutes now.
Macro Pollock and a bass. Been a good session. Thought that was a bass first, you know. Yeah. Then it just when it dived at the last minute, I thought, oh, it's a Pollock. But knew it had to be fairly decent. What would you rather add, 49 bass or 49 Pollock? Well, yeah, the Pollock, because it's PB, because 49 bass wouldn't be a wouldn't be a PB, would it? Nice Pollock. 49's alright, none too shabby in York. Quarters to two, should we stay till two? Yeah. yeah. We can stay till two or we'll have five till cast at two. No, we'll go at two o'clock. As long as we haven't got a fish on, I've got to cut my line to leave at two. Great little session. Um I oh know mackerel mackerel two three, um couple of pollock. And um, then a nice bass for Kev. Kev's bass fell to the hunt lure, white one, which is a copy of a seeker, so that obviously works okay. Um, all of mine fell to a cheap two pound metal, including my 49 centimetre uh, PB Pollock right at the end. So chuffed really, what can be better? Beautiful views, out in the fresh air, brilliant. Can't beat it. Catch you guys soon, cheers.